the most recognized voices in television as far as commentary is concerned. Mm. Let's speak about your story. You did not start off in commentary. The interesting part is you started in theater, which you still say is your first love. Uh, thanks a lot for having me, uh, Tavis. Yeah, I know it's been a while. Eh? Uh, it's <laughs> been a long time, Mungfuna, but finally I'm here. Mm -hmm. And good evening to the viewers at home. Um, I studied television, drama, and production uh, at the Devon University of Technology. So I am an actor and a director by profession. So I'm much more of a theatre actor than a television. Mm. A lot of people saying that's exactly what you do there when you're doing your, your match commentaries as well. You paint such a picture that everybody can relate to to something that you say, you come up with nicknames. In fact, most of our sports or soccer our players have, have been re-anointed as per se by Ore Jindlo. <laughs> Speak to us, how did you get into it? I mean, the, the, the journey you traveled until you came up to, to work with us here at the SABC and become the commentator that you are now. Uh, what happened was uh, I started working Gumubango behind the scenes mm -hmm. uh, as an assistant director. That's where Dr. Tumagandlo gave me my first job. And then I went to SABC Sport and I told them, good guys, uh, I'm a commentator, you know. And unfortunately, the person that I was talking to just looked at me. <laughs> and then he told me, good, you know what, just go back to school, man. And yeah. I was like, but I just graduated, you know, just give me a chance. Yeah. And he just decided to close the door and get an office scene. And then I was left standing there thinking, good, what should I do now? And then I left. But then three years down the line, I came back because I didn't take it as a rejection mm -hmm. that is going to last forever. So three years down the line, I came back. I found a new person. I spoke to him. I told him, Guti, this is what I can do. And then they told me, Guti, it's fine. We can audition you, mm -hmm. listen to your clip, and then I auditioned. And then uh, well, three months, I had lost hope. I thought, ah, 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 no pain. <laughs> so to speak. Yeah. And then out of the blue, I got a call from Mutina. Mm -hmm. And she was like, when are you coming to sport to sign your contract? I was like, what contract? Mm -hmm. And then she broke the news to me. And then mm -hmm. I, was, I was so happy. And I think we don't celebrate ourselves enough here at the SABC, in particular with the talent that we have. Now, we were listening to just some of the commentary. That was last week, I think. Uh, last week, yes. Match against uh, Bloom Celtic and Kaiser Chiefs. Mm. The question a lot of people have been in Buzuric. Umo Rech is a particular commentator. He's come off it. Does he listen to himself? Does he understand the joy that he gives people sitting at home? Do you ever get a chance to die? What is with him tangibing shy? What I always do is I record each and every game that I'm doing. And then when I get home, I sit down and I listen to a commentary. But unfortunately, I find it hard to listen for the sake of listening yeah. and enjoying. I always find a critical point to you know I have to fix this next time. Uh, I have to improve this next time. Okay, this worked for me, so I have to keep it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that's how I look at it with that critical eye. Mm. It's been a colorful journey as we see some of the pictures here. You, you've, and a lot of people, I think, and they look at you and they say, hey, they're celebrity rich. But knowing you and seeing how you do your work, so down to earth, and that is what this job requires because at the end mm. of the day, it's about giving the public, you know, the best of you. What have you found being difficult in, in, in being Urej in love with the, the personal person? Because I know that's what you are, and <laughs> yeah. in love who people want to see, and because they know the voice, they can relate to the guy they hear on television. I think I was fortunate enough to be brought up well in such a way that I was taught to respect each and every person that I meet, you know. And fortunately, when I first got into the industry of commentary, I, I, I met Ubabam Tetwa, mm -hmm. you know, and Ubabam Tetwa said to me, respect each and every person that you meet because they are the very same people who will go in and tune in when you are doing your commentary. Mm -hmm. I have uh, Upumu Zomanenze, he's my mentor at the moment. He always makes sure Guti, I'm prepared on time, uh, always two days before the game, yeah. and he's always there telling, uh, calling me, asking me, Guti, are you ready? Mm -hmm. you know, because it doesn't matter which game you're doing, but there will always be someone who's going to be watching. Hence, I treat each and every game as important as it is. Mm. Over the years, obviously, there's ambitions. I know, again, you said your first love would be acting and the theatre. Would you, would you swap the one for the other, or where you are right now, you enjoying it, and you'll ride this wave, so to speak, as it were? Uh, I think... Moving forward, like in future, I, I, I would still love to direct football yeah. because remember, I'm an actor and a director by profession. So I would still like to utilize the talent of directing and not just for the sake of uh, directing, but mm -hmm. for the sake of also making a name for myself as a director. Yeah. And I would still like to analyze football mm -hmm. because I'm, all, I'm, I'm also an analyst. In fact, that's, I, I, think we, I think we're going to have you here. I mean, we're allowed to have you. You work just across the corridors. I know we'd like to have you here for yeah. the sake of our listeners and viewers as well, yes. And then uh, I would still like to coach. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm holding a D-license coaching uh, certificate, yeah. of which I'm still working on uh, 
uh, improving the, the grades. Yeah. I'm currently uh, working as an assistant coach to coach AB. Uh, yeah. We're coaching Go Castle, we're yeah. coaching under 20. Uh, we had a game today and the boys did well. Yeah. I'm proud of them. So um, I'm, I, I try by all means to utilize all the talents that I was given. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be shooting soon, but uh, unfortunately, I can't reveal now. Uh, <laughs> yeah. No, I'll speak to you after yeah. this. Job. Unfortunately, we have to leave it there. And as yeah. I said, you know, one of probably the best voice of voices, well-known voices as far as television is concerned, SABC Sports and One, our sister channel. Reggie, the next game you're doing so our listeners can, well, our viewers rather can listen in? Uh, on Saturday, I'm doing uh, Pulukwana City up against Chippa United. But as you know, Woody, all the games will be playing same time. Yeah. So our main game will be Orlando Pirates and Cape Town City. Um, SABC Sports and One. Uh, SABC One. But but uh, the most game that I'm looking forward yeah. to is the final, final. Uh, down in Devon, Kaiser Chiefs. I'm not going to ask you who's going to win because I think you're going to say TS <laughs> Galaxy. Reggie Global speaking to us right here on SABC <laughs> News Channel. Thank you very much, Reggie, for joining us and wishing the best of luck as your career grows and leaps and bounds. And hopefully you can have Reggie come in here in studio and speak to us. But more and analyze some matches for us, especially the Women's World Cup coming up, AFCON and CAF, etc., etc. We take a quick break. In fact, I say goodbye for now, but we take a quick break right here on SABC News Channel. Stay with us at the top of the hour. There's more news for you. You've been watching the full view on SABC News Channel. This is Sports in the Full View. Bye-bye.